everybody, it's Lynn from Subpart Planning. Welcome. I'm on a roll because I'm actually putting out some videos, which is crazy because it's nothing I ever do before. Or I haven't done it in a while. So anyways, welcome to my channel. If you've never been here before, this is just a channel about like planners and my half-assed attempt at setting things up and then setting things up and just showing them to you, but never actually really using them because that seems to be a trend for me <laughs> at this point in time. So anyways, um, the, the struggle is real apparently, and I know I'm not the only one, so that makes me feel a little bit better because I don't feel like I'm uh, alone in a sea of of planners, but I do understand that sometimes, you know, you see something you like and you get it and you think you're going to use it and you know you're going to use it and then you end up not using it and it just ends up sitting in a drawer somewhere, which is kind of what's happening with me. Like I buy stuff because I think it's cute. I think I'm going to use it and then it just sits. So um, this is a great example of that. This is the Kate Spade Cameron Street agenda. I think it was one of the last years it was released. I think it's like 2017, 2018. I actually saw this at TJ Maxx and it was um it was like 69 bucks. And it had the whole yearly calendar and I think it was a 2017 calendar. It was like halfway through the year. And I bought it. And I bought it because it was a planner, a ring planner and it was a Kate Spade agenda planner and but I bought it not really knowing if I was ever going to use it, but it was $69 and it was there. So I bought it. So I did buy it as you can see, and it basically sat in a closet until, uh, this past summer when I tried to sell it and no one really seemed interested in purchasing it. I wasn't selling it for too much money. I wasn't looking to like make profit off of it, but I just, you know, I wanted to sell it and it didn't sell. So I put it back into a box. And then in October, I was kind of going through some stuff in my closet. And I thought, you know what, if I'm going to, this is the year I'm going to use this, I'm going to force myself to use this for the entire year. And so when I mean force myself to use it, I'm going to use this as a fairly oversized wallet slash everyday carry. I figure if I put my debit cards in here and my money, it's going to force me to carry this stupid thing every day. So at least I will get a year's worth of use out of it. And we'll see. Maybe by the end of the year, I'll be happy that I have it. Maybe I won't want to use anything else. So um, I have this sort of set up, but not really. Um, but I'll show you what I've got so far. Um, this is one of those little Kate Spade um uh, stationary set tags. I have this one and then the other one, I can't remember what the other one said, but it was uh, a white, a black, and a cream. And they're really cute, but this one is perfect because I swear a lot. So this, this is pretty much, that's pretty much all me. So as you can see, the zipper is really nice. It's super smooth. And then as we open the planner, um, the, obviously the inserts for this particular planner are, are, are outdated and I'm not a big fan of, um, redating calendars. I've tried, I've tried it in the past and cl clearly that doesn't work. Um, so what I did was I got undated planner pages from Hobby Lobby and that's what this calendar is. So again, this is the Kate Spade, the actual original ruler that came with it. And then this is a card folio that is going to have my driver's license, insurance information, um, any debit cards, credit cards, anything that I need, like my passport card. And that's actually what's going to be, that's what's going to hold my cards. So I don't have to shove stuff in here. If I want to decorate the pockets, I can. This is just a memory card from my father's passing. And then what I was going to do is I was going to put my cash in this, in this drawer, right? In this drawer, excuse me, this pocket right here. With that being said, um, I think that's the actual, yeah, that's the care card for that. Um, this is a little planner bow that I made with some, the uh, LOL um, ribbon from Hobby Lobby. I just thought it was cute. I'll probably take it out. Um, as you can see, this is the actual planner from Hobby Lobby. Now, I obviously have made some adjustments and I made like little dashboards for everything and I'll, I'll show you that in a second, but essentially this is what it looks like. So front page and then goals for the future. So these could be years for the, for 2024, if you wanted to decorate that way, the actual, uh, divider page. The reason why I like the Hobby Lobby ones is because it's the divider page on this side and it's plain on this side. So you can actually carry this over. So if you have other sheets, other planner page systems that you like, but you don't necessarily have anything to like separate your months, this is actually really nice that they do that. 
So this didn't have, to, I, it has January written on it. I just stamped 2024. And then all I did was I just individually stamped everything. And so I actually started doing some stuff here. Um, I've got some dates marked off where I have to be in a certain space. I used my dynamo punch to punch that out. And then um, I started working on the daily pages. So, you know, I have a couple things here and obviously I haven't done much, but you know, this is more of a functional plan for me. I want to be pretty planning. I want to do what I see on Instagram and YouTube, but I just, it's just, I don't know. I just can't do it where I do it. And I just get super frustrated because I just think it looks stupid. It doesn't look as nice as everyone else's. And it just leads me to this like shame spiral of planners. And I just put everything away. I can't deal with it. So nonetheless, um, so what I did was I took some craft paper and I punched it and I just made kind of like a little dashboard and it's just to use up stickers. There's really no other reason why I did this other than to use up my stickers. I have more stickers than I need and I need to get them. I need to use them. So what I did was I did that here and then on the back I had these and I don't know where these envelopes came from, but I have these envelopes. So I figured I would use them. So I just took some stamp ink, dulled them down a little bit because they were bright white stuck them on here and I can use these to put receipts in or any kind of ephemera that I pick up along the way during the course of the month. And if I want to use it, my planner, I can use it. So that's what that's for. And I started that for every month. So what I did was I put it in the front, I got my pocket and then I have the divider and then I keep going. It's a training schedule that I'm actually going to be a part of. So that was a, that's what that is. But that's all going to be those training months. And that's what those little dots are. It's to remind me of like when those training sessions are. So it's uh, going to be a long, it's going to be a long couple of weeks for that, for me that month. And as you can see, I have training sessions listed. Um, just basic, nothing crazy. No, it's just very functional. Um, now, whether I decorate this stuff or not, or whether I use this back page or not, I have no idea. Like I said, I'll be amazed if I use, if I even use, fill up half the stuff in here that I have. Um, this is another page for March. This is uh, for registration. Let's just put it there to remind me that I need to do that. And then, again, it's just the, the stickers. These stickers all came from um, the Hobby Lobby's... Um, Hold on a second. I want to say, yeah, it's this one. If you're wondering where these stickers came from, it's the stick abilities. It's the calendar pack. So you can see it's got some stuff in there. I use most of them, but each month it has a couple of different things. The only month that kind of annoys me and it's, it's a Hobby Lobby thing is I don't really necessarily put Halloween, they call it Happy Harvest. So their Halloween to them is really not their thing. They don't necessarily believe in celebrating that, which is fine, that's their preference. Um, but if you're looking for those kinds of stickers or Halloween type stickers, you're most likely not gonna see those at Hobby Lobby. Um, however, this is the book that I used. Um, and actually it was kind of nice because it fits these pages pretty good. And you know, again, it's kind of nice to it fits, it fits in everything pretty nicely. So, and as you can see, I have got the rest of the months done, but I haven't decorated them. So that's just something I need to do. I just need to find a TV show and pop it in there. The other thing is that I don't have the entire year in here. I only have the first, I think, four months. And the reason why is because it's just easier. Um, I just don't want it to be too thick. And so actually I have the up until May. So then what I have is the fly leaf that came with it. I put that on the back. This May divider. I should really go with the other ones um, with the rest of the calendar. And so then I did my photo of the month. And, and if you've seen any of the stuff that I've done in the past, I always have some sort of photo of the month. And so this time what I'm going to do is I actually bought these pages from Amazon and I have put stickers for each month, monthly day. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this with my pictures. And so one thing that I did was I got the um, Instax. I bought myself the Instax for my birthday. And it's the Instax Evo. It's the one that um, can you can Bluetooth connect to your phone and you can actually take pictures and um, from your, with your phone and upload them into the Instax. And then you can get pictures printed out. And so this is an example of one of the Instax photos. And actually they're 
the pictures have come out with the Instax are really amazing. I also have the, um, the Canon, um, the HP, excuse me, the HP, um, printer, um, the little handheld printer and I really like it, but I always find that the pictures are a little yellow with this one. These are actual photographic prints, like, sorry, they're Polaroids, or if you know them as a Polaroid, it's an instant print. Polaroid is the trademark name, but this is what it looks like. And the, the color definition is actually really nice. So I thought for my year at a glance photos, these fit the Instax photos perfectly. And so I will have 12 monthly photos um, by the end of the year. And the nice thing is, is I can actually, I can actually keep this as an album and put this in another personal size planner if I choose to. So that's what that is. So next I um, have my page from my um, Happy Planner sticker book. It's like the Zodiac or astrology sticker book. So I just made my own little page. I'm a Cancer. And for some reason, I just have always liked this. I've always been into like the astrology stuff. And I've always like looked at my horoscopes and like Cosmo and all that stuff. So I figured I'd make something like that. So I found a couple of things off of Pinterest, printed it with my little hand printer. It's a sticker paper, shoved it on there and called it good. And the nice thing is, is I can keep adding to it and decorating it if I want. I have a couple of dot paged um, dot pages. And I think I actually cut these down from a fuller size page. And then I just got some blank craft pages if I need it. I also have a zipper pocket if I need it for something. And I think this is a Filofax. Yep. That's a Filofax zipper pocket. Actually works really good. Uh, excuse me, really well. It zips fairly nice. So if I wanted to put my cash in here, I could, and I'd feel pretty comfortable knowing that it's fairly secure. Although to be honest with you, I don't see why this front pocket for cash you know I can't see why that wouldn't be that why that wouldn't work and what I have is some um post-it notes that have come off here I just think those are funny because they make me laugh when I have to go to the college this is there and then these stickers I bought in Vancouver Canada and I just love this little whale and I want to use them, but they're just too cute. And I don't want to use them because if I use them, then I'll lose, I'll, they'll be gone. So I just kind of put them in my little planner so I can look at them because they make me smile. I love that little whale. It reminds me of like a little sperm whale. And that is basically, I'll just do that. Basically it. I will put a pen in here, I think, that I can use when I'm out and about, but honestly, I always cringe at that thought because it's one of my favorite pens. And if I take it out and about and I lose it, I'll be devastated. So nonetheless, um, that is the flip through of the preliminary setup for my 2024 wallet slash everyday carry. And the nice thing about this that I really like is that if I take this out and move it, I actually have enough slots here to just carry the most basic of cards. But I thought the nice thing about this is that I can actually carry a variety of cards. Like this could be my important stuff, but then on this side, I can have like my debit, my, there's like one or two credit cards that I use for the bonus points or the, the money back. And then my debit card. Uh, this was also, because it's so tiny, this literally gave me hours of anxiety trying to put that together. And I should probably not touch it because it'll fall off. But nonetheless, um, let's stick that in there, but yeah, this is kind of what it looks like. And I think it's going to work for me. The only thing is that I have found like, it can't go like that. What it needs to do is it needs to go like this so that it drops down. Because if I find that I try to do it this way, it gets in the way of the rings, even though it works like this, I think it'll make it, but this seems to be the best spot to place it. kick it in zip it shut sorry for the lighting it's kind of getting dim quick um but yeah this is it so anyways i hope this finds you well thanks for watching subscribe if you like although don't be surprised if you don't see videos coming out from me every week because i don't do that um it's not because i wouldn't say it's because i don't have time because that's really not true i have plenty of time if i really want to make the time it's just i kind of forget so uh, you know, I'm not going to lie. So anyways, hope this finds you well. Take it easy. Subscribe if you like. 
Sometimes your videos will come out. Sometimes they won't. Sometimes I post on Instagram. Sometimes I don't. Remember, you are loved, you are wanted, and you are needed. Deuces.